Well, even with ice on many area lakes, the opener is sure to draw a large number of anglers to northern Minnesota. Shane Lee speaks with local business owners about the economic impact of the opener and the effects of this late spring. The walleye opener plays a major part in the economy of the lakes area and Minnesota as a whole. The fishing industry is about a $2.4 billion industry based on information that just came out of the DNR. The late spring has left a lot of ice on the lakes and some local businesses will get the cold shoulder from would-be anglers. Typically I guide uh, three people on opener, but uh, they have moved their schedule to June. The S&W bait shop has seen about half the number of customers it would usually bring in before the opener. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. An awful lot better than I thought it was going to be. People are still coming. Wichter's positive outlook is reflected throughout the area. There's going to be a lot of people. Um, our river system here is open. A lot of the smaller lakes are completely open. Open water is a welcome site for anglers and resort owners alike. Birch Bay Golf Course and Resort borders Agate Lake, which finally lost all of its ice only yesterday. We have one of the only ramps for even the people who live on the lake, and we've seen no one launch their boat yet. Despite the late spring, Birch Bay Resort still booked its usual number of guests for the opener, mostly for the sake of tradition. A lot of them have been coming every year, same weekend, so that's pretty much who we have in-house. The fishing is a part of it, but it's, it's that tradition that so many people look forward to this weekend of getting together with family and friends, and that part will continue. A few people that I know are still coming to this area, but their boats are at home. There's going to be golfing, you know, just getting together with people. While the fish may provide some extra encouragement, it's the people that make opening weekend special and keep the economy afloat. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. And Gull Lake near Brainerd is still completely frozen and Upper Gull remains mostly frozen. Most of the smaller lakes in the Brainerd area are open. Larger lakes further to the north such as Leech and Cass Lake in Bemidji are still mostly ice covered. Of course, fishing begins at midnight in just a little less than two hours. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.